And here's the video review for the Thundercats 6-inch Mumra figure. Um, he came today. Um, there he is as uh, just as he comes out. Uh, these two pieces on the side of his head and this red piece on the back um, I had to add on. They, they come separate in the package. You just pull his helmet off and attach them. Um, JT Mitchell showed that off in his review. Uh, if you want to see that, that and, and, and like he said in his review, they stay on. They stay on well. But if you really want to make sure they don't just pop off, uh, you can glue them in. I'm considering doing that. Um, might actually stay on pretty well. Um, I haven't had any cause for concern yet, but um, but I'll probably end up gluing them on just to be safe. Um, also, JT Mitchell pointed out that it looks like he's they, they may have had plans to put wings on him and then didn't, um, which is kind of a shame because uh, if you remember from the four inch figure. Um, and I, and, I, and I hope that's not something from the character design that they scrapped and then just didn't have time to remove off the toy. Because he looks really awesome with the wings. And I would have loved to have seen the 6-inch one have some giant wings like that as well. But um, but there's just a quick comparison of the two. Uh, one with wings, one without. Um, but nope, he's just the basic Mumra with no wings. Uh, even though he has these slots here for something that was clearly supposed to be there and then got covered up. Um, he does come with two sets of hands. Um, you can swap out either. He comes with the, with the open hands installed. I've already swapped out the sword holding hand, but you can swap out either a an, a relaxed open hand or or a closed fist for him to hold weapons on either side. Uh, speaking of weapons, he does come with that same scarab shield uh, thing that the uh, deluxe figure came with, the four inch version. Uh, he's got more open spider legs. It wasn't solid blocks like on the other one. But, um, but yeah, and instead of plugging into the arm, it clips over a gauntlet or whatever. Uh, clips right onto an arm. And then he also comes with a small dagger of Plundar. It's kind of the answer to the Sword of Omens. It destroyed Thundera in the, the, the original Thundera in the original Thundercats cartoon. Um, before they came to New Earth or Third Earth or whatever they called it. Um... And then he does have the Sword of Plundar, which, uh, unlike the, the smaller figure, which just had, like, basically this blade with a handle, um, it's got, it's, it's a full double-bladed sword. And you hold that, and you, um, you can just slide that right through his hand, uh, just so it pokes through, and then just plug the, uh, the top part on, so he can hold the, uh, the double-bladed sword there. It's just really cool. And that's all accessory-wise for Mumra. His head can turn. It can turn with all this stuff attached to it. Um, it does hit a little bit of a snag as you turn it around, but this does lift up a little bit. So you can you can get some pretty decent range of motion from side to side on his head. Um, he's got the same basic jointing system as Panthro and, and Lion-O. He's got the bicep swivel on the shoulders and then the a wrist swivel there. Well, he's got a wrist swivel with the gauntlet and obviously his wrist swivel where you plug the hands in. Um, he does have a waist swivel. Um... His legs are kind of hindered by the uh, by the skirt, but you can still get some decent posability out of him. Uh, double knees, and he's got the same weak ankles. I'm going to have to fix those, too. Um, he's about the same height as Panthro, um, but he certainly is tall enough to menace uh, lion -O, which is kind of cool. Um, so it definitely, if you saw the two of them fighting... You would think the bigger guy might have the advantage because he definitely looks a lot more just bigger and bulkier and muscular than Lion-O does. Could probably do some damage. But we all know Lion-O is the good guy. And Lion-O wins all the time. And Mumra dies and gets destroyed but then uh, reasserts himself over the control of his... the influence of the control of the people that were controlling him. And then the Thundercats do something horrible to them and they make... So that people bring Mumra back on th New Thundera. And I'm just babbling gibberish. If you didn't watch the old cartoon, you've got not, you don't know anything about it. And I'm, and I'm, t I'm vaguely, vaguely remembering watching the old cartoon when I was a kid. Because, I mean, like, I remember watching it a lot. I don't remember a whole lot specifically about the plot um, of the old original cartoon. But here's the Mumra from the new cartoon. He looks pretty menacing and cool. Um, do wish he had the wings. Um, I hope he at least has the wings on the cartoon because uh, the 4-inch figure looks really awesome with him. Uh, like I said, if you price-wise, go for the 4-inch figure. He's pretty cool. Um, I said I just really like those bat wings. Um, the, the bigger one is more poseable. 
um, a little bit more impressive looking on your shelf. So, I mean, like, if you have the money for both, get both. Um, he's one of the ones where I'm kind of uh, about the same on both versions of him. I like both of them. They're both really cool. And I, originally I wasn't going to get this version. And then I got the little 4-inch version. I'm like, hmm, I wonder what the 6-inch version is like. And I got him, and uh, he was awesome, too. So, yeah. This is one where I'm pretty much evenly split between the 4-inch and the 6-inch version. So there it is, 6-inch Mumra.